Hello, and welcome back to the Mastering AI series. I'm Maribel Lopez, the founder and principal analyst at Lopez Research, and your host for this series. CSPs face numerous data challenges. Like many IT organizations, they have to break down their internal data silos. CSPs have large volumes of network and customer data that's coming from internal and external sources. With such a wide variety of data, coming from so many different locations, it's becoming increasingly difficult for CSPs to analyze and act upon this data. This Mastering AI for CSP series, covering how to best leverage and scale AI to drive CX and network improvements, get the right data foundation, and practical do's and don'ts, is brought to you by Amdocs. As more organizations embrace IoT, the volume, variety, and velocity of data increases. To support escalating customer demands, CSPs need to collect, analyze, and respond to data in near real time. A solid data management foundation is key to overcoming these challenges. In this episode, Ronald Van Loon, who is a CEO and principal analyst at Intelligent World, will share insights on creating the right data foundation for AI. Welcome to the program, Ronald. Thank you, Mary Bell, for the great introduction to the subject of data management. To build a robust data foundation for AI, CSPs must be able to leverage their data for actionable insights and for recommendations. So CSPs collect a variety of data types and sources, which might include real-time data and batch data from network run, telephony, um, IVR, CRM, ERP, social media, EDQ, and also data lakes. And automated data storage and modeling capabilities, they are via a robust cloud data platform. They enable nearly instantaneously efficient data collection, but also the storage, the modeling, so CSPs can take fast action on UX use cases. And the cloud data platform also provides a single source of truth. And this is based on agile API data integration and centralized data, providing a consistent view of data that serves all business lines, all your channels and all your systems to minimize indecisions. And CSPs need to improve data engineering and data quality management, including data governance, including your lineage to resolve significant challenges surrounding data cleansing and creating unified models. And the cloud-based data management platform gives complex transformation at scale. So for any type of data or any type of source, allowing CSPs to leverage a single gateway to all of their data with policy-driven governance and with access. And this accelerates AI operationalization and network-related AI for best quality of service and for quality of experience. So CSPs, they must also understand which data is beneficial and which data is relevant per use case and align the business outcomes per use case. So for example, natural language processing and machine learning that can be used in a CSP call center to identify customer intent, like a warning to change their subscription plan and ensure agents that they can relate to customers and address their needs much faster to improve satisfaction and, of course, to prevent churn. And CSPs can also extend personalization, machine learning based offers instead of this generic type of offers across your specific categories like your add ons or your plans or your devices to deliver enhanced customer experiences. And these examples, they demonstrate why trustworthy data is integral to AI success. So the right data ingestion architecture will help you to establish data trust, but also improve your uh, data management capabilities and enriching data with KPI profiles and aggregations. So data is generated everywhere, whether that's at external data, partner data, or third-party data, like mobile phone usage or social media, but also customer demographic data or internal data from network equipment. But you can also think about server logs, billing, customer profiles, ordering, and also, of course, device data. And CSPs must define a data strategy. 
So taking into consideration whether or not the data must be leveraged in real time and where it should be analyzed. And this depends on the data type, on the volume, and how fast it must be used. Also, typically different CSPs teams, they leverage data for unique requirements. For example, network operation teams, they leverage network data versus CRM teams who use their CRM data. Then we have the regulatory considerations. They must also be taken into account because data might have to be uh, processed and stored locally and anonymously. So this is depending on your data sovereignty or your compliance programs like GDPR, for example. And CSPs must also additionally create a strategy to understand and to optimize data analytics in relation to the, the trade-offs of your, your latency your, your security, but also your privacy. So by automating the capabilities that enable meaningful insights to be derived from the, the diverse data and comply with your regulations, CSPs can advance innovation and this without sacrificing your compliance, which is key. So CSPs should evaluate data management across the organization, including data centralization and organization-wide data access, but also identify how data is linked to processes. So robust data management practices further enable CSPs to understand the value of their data, along with the risk and the innovation potential. And CSPs must overcome data silos, including internal and departmental silos, but also technology silos and data silos across their ecosystems of suppliers, um, construction companies, subcontractors, and engineering firms. And a cloud data management platform can mitigate the, the complications that arise from managing subscriptions across all the various network silos and help CSPs to move a step closer towards AI operationalization. And CSPs also need to unify disparate internal and external processes that everyone can work on the same data. And finally, CSPs must ensure that they are applying analytics across all the critical data sets for a complete customer view so they can deliver proactive, personalized experiences. So CSPs can also provide dynamic bundling offerings um, or targeted promotions based on user location. So for example, now that networks are virtualized and 5G is standardized. And CSPs can leverage network data analytics function like NWDAF, to ensure service continuity and reduce latency and also congestion and predict if they need more load in specific areas. Like if a customer um, uh, has a concert and he needs more network capacity. So, Maribel, this is why you need a data management solution. Thank you for attending this session of Mastering AI and remember to join us for the next episode. This Mastering AI for CSP series, covering how to best leverage and scale AI to drive CX and network improvements, get the right data foundation and practical do's and don'ts is brought to you by Amdocs.